Right? So you're going to go all the way to the top. Okay? Now we've got to cut to the side. Sometimes kids are like, oh, okay, now we just want to look inside, but they won't be able to see much because it's not that open. Right? We need to open this frog all the way up so we can have a good look. And this is how you do it. You take this side over here, again, trying not to cut anything major, and you cut it all the way to the bottom on both sides. It's like CSI. Something like that. <laughs> okay, so all the other base. And then down here you do the exact same thing. Again, make sure you're lifting before you cut so you don't wreck anything. And then you'll see how, uh, how nicely this opens up here. Now, there's going to be muscle that you're going to have to deal with and connective tissue. We've got all sorts of blood vessels coming off the heart right in here. But I'm not too concerned about that with this dissection. So we can, uh, we can just cut those. That's fine. That's not one of the things I really want to pay attention to. Okay. So you have a, a pretty good view of everything in the frog now. Now, the first thing we'll look at is the heart. And the heart is right here. It's a little bit damaged, one of the atrium. But there's the heart right there. It's in a sac, just like ours is. We got two atria and a ventricle, quite a large ventricle. Okay. Now, what's associated with the heart, well, heart is there to, to reoxygenate blood, and we need lungs for that. So if on either side, we have a lung. So there's a lung on the frog's left side. And if we dig over here, we can pull out the right lung. And there's your lungs. And they're, they're pretty cool to look at, actually, and to prod a little bit. The tissue is different than most of the other tissue inside the frog. Okay, so lungs and heart. The first structure that they actually see is this big one here that covers everything, and that's the liver. Uh, very large um, and lobed. Uh, what's associated with the liver is the gallbladder. And we lift, if we lift up this part right here, we find, oh, this one's kind of small. There's a little bag or a little sack down here which is the gallbladder. Okay, so there's the gallbladder. Okay, now we've got that one done. That done, we can lift this away. And, and uh, again, the kids can probe through the mouth if they want, and they can get their probe right into this part, which is the stomach. Okay, so this curved uh, structure right here is the stomach. And this one doesn't look like it's got anything in the stomach. That's too bad. Um, I'll come back to that. But here's the stomach. Um, after the stomach, obviously, we have the small intestine. And in this first fold, so here's the start of the small intestine right here. We have stomach, small intestine. And this first fold here is where you find the pancreas. It doesn't really look like much, but it just lies in this connective tissue all in here. And that's the pancreas. It sends out some digestive enzymes into the small intestine. Okay, so small intestine. We all know that small intestine winds around quite a bit, and eventually we hit the large intestine, which in a frog is quite short. So right here, here's the end of the small intestine, here's the large intestine, and again, it's quite, quite small. Okay. A structure that I don't talk about a lot, but the kids always ask me about, is this one right here. It's only on the frog's left side, and this ball structure here, this dark one, is called uh, the spleen. Okay, so you can talk about that if you'd like. Um, some obvious structures here um, are the fat bodies. These funny looking structures right here. Uh, and it's the same on both sides. Okay, we have some over here too. And they are to help the frog survive during hibernation. Okay, they, they contain uh, nutrients, basically fat, right? Just like if we had a, a, an animal that hibernated, a mammal like a bear, they have a fat reserve. This is kind of like the frog's fat reserve. So they use up that nutrient uh, during hibernation and when it's breeding season and when they need an extra boost, right? It's for survival. Okay, so underneath the fat bodies, and again, I said this was a female, and it looks like I am, I think I'm correct. Because usually right about here, somewhere in here, there's a testy, testicle. Then they have them on both sides, okay? So there are two. And there should be a little peanut shaped structure right here. Okay? Depending on the size of the frog, it can be smaller or larger. So that means these curly little parts right here, this is the oviduct for the female, and if it was a male, it would be the vas deferens. 
Okay? Uh, right here, this dark structure right here, we got one here, and then one on the other side as well. Right, whoops. Right there. Those are the kidneys. Okay? So very large structure in, in the frog as well. Those are the kidneys. <clears throat> now in the last frog I did, the bladder was sitting right there, and there we have a bladder that can fill up and drain just like all bladders. So there's the bladder right in there. Okay? Now after the kids have gone through all that, some cool things that they they like to do. The first one I like to do too. But this one's not going to be very promising, I don't think. But they can cut open the stomach. See what was uh, the frog's last meal here. So let's crack it open. And if there's nothing in it, we can at least look at the folds and, and such that are inside the, the stomach. Oh, it does have some stuff. That's pretty pretty dried up though. There's not a whole heck of a lot. Well, there's something with Looks like it's got a few legs on it. Um, probably won't be able to focus too much. That's pretty small. But sometimes kids will pull out beetles and stuff out of here that are just like they were just <laughs> had just been eaten. It's kind of cool. Um, and you'll notice the folds in the stomach. And that allows, if it's got a big meal, right, the stomach can stretch. Right? It's got some extra layers there that allow it to stretch. Something else they can do, if you've talked about this in science, uh, the absorption of nutrients in the small intestine. If you cut open a portion, cut out a portion of the small intestine and split it, you can uh, see if it's got villi, just like in, in humans, right? Or other mammals. Uh, so that's something they can check out as well. Kids like to uh, peel the skin off the legs just to see the muscles and the tendons around the knees there. Um, that's also interesting for them. And one more thing that they like to do is they like to take out the eye, which is kind of cool actually. Once you pop it out um, and you get into the eye, you can actually pull out the lens and that's a whole other discussion you can have with them uh, with regard to light and optics. So I think that pretty much covers everything. Um, I hope that was clear and I hope you enjoyed it.